Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with an upgrade on my microbit dice lesson. So let's get cracking. All right, friends, we're going to build this from scratch. The first step is to hit circuits and create new circuits. I am going to call it dice, and I'm going to put MDH, and I'm going to put V2 because this is a different way to build it. Once again, we're going to grab a micro bit and we're going to bring it out and drop it down. We are going to switch to the code immediately. We are going to on start show the string shake. Last time we said roll, but really we are shaking our dice with the cool little shake feature. The next command we bring in is the on shake. I'm going to stretch this a little wider because when I watch students in my classroom, this is where we started to have problems was when we put our commands in here. We are going to create a variable quick called roll. When you have this variable, it lets you set the roll to a certain amount. So in our on shake, we're going to take that variable roll, and whenever it is shaken, we're going to set the roll to a cool number. We are going to use the pick random command, and because we're rolling dice, we're going to pick a number from 1 to 6 the same way a die would work. Now, real quickly, let me just show you this because it's kind of amazing. If we went back to show string, and instead of the word hello, we put our variable roll, we have already built a working die. Notice it says shake. I moved this over to the side because that's how I prefer it. When I hit the little shake button, we roll the two, we roll the four, we roll the two. It was that quick and it was that amazing. I don't want to show a string though, I want to make it even cooler, so I'm going to throw that out, and now we're going to build the code that fits inside here. We are going to build it with an if, so bring out your if, and let's drop it underneath. When the math pops in, we want one of these brackets where the math is compared instead of just if it's true. Now we can take that variable roll and put it at the first part of our if. So every time we roll the dice, the first thing we want to do is clear the screen. Then we want it to wait for one second. And then finally, we want it to draw whatever cool die just showed up. So if we roll the one, we want it to look like a one. Now, we've always got to have the shake command and then inside the ifs. If you have more than two walls here, that's where people were breaking it all the time. So right now, I want to bring this off to the side, and I'm going to zoom way out. This gives you lots of room for this next trick. So we're going to duplicate that and make sure we set it below. Notice there are two ifs. If you accidentally put this up one, you've got an extra thick line, and that's when it's broken. So make sure yours is below. And then I'm going to zoom in on my code a little, make that a two. And then we need to make the display look like a tool. And now I want to move up to this top piece. So I'm going to adjust this slider just a little. And I'm going to right click and duplicate. I'm going to set it way below. And then I'm going to make sure the if goes below. I'm going to right click on that one and once again set it way below. And then make sure it goes below. So let's zoom in and double check all this and fix our numbers. So. We've got a 1 and it shows a 1, a 2 and it shows a 2. Still only one row on this outside. There is a 3 and a 3. We want this one, it sees a 4 to look like a 4. We want this one, we roll a 5 to look like a 5. If you've ever seen dice, this is exactly how they look. And then lastly, when you roll a 6, we want it to look like 6. When you've got that whole large if built, we need to put it in the shake. You may find it easier to bring the shake close and then just drop it below. Double check real quick to make sure that you've only got one wall and then the if wall, so the whole way it was two. If it's ever broke, remember what you probably did was you put one up above. So see here, there's one, two, three walls. You can break it out and drop it down below to get it back right. With that built, friends, let's hide the code, start the simulation, and check out what we made. First, it says shake. We're going to test and see what we get. We got a four. We got a one. 
we got a six. Now that we've got that first chunk working perfectly, friends, this is even cooler. Make sure all your code is done because when you do control C and control V, you get a second micro bit. And because we copied after we created the code, I'm gonna set this one to blue. And if we check out micro bit one and micro bit two, all the code already exists. The only thing I wanna make different on this one is I'm gonna zoom in on the start. And on this side, it's gonna be shake me. And then one other cool thing I saw students do was they went to the wait command and they had this side wait two seconds. So that way when you start the simulation, on one side it says shake, and then after that's almost done, it says me. I'm gonna hide the code. I'm gonna put the blue micro bits controller over here. And friends, we have a two piece dice project. All right, friends, so we created this quick because I saw some students in class having trouble with grouping those. Hopefully this makes it much easier and then you'll have much more fun as we go on to our next couple steps where I actually turn this in to a working game. Friends, if you found the video useful, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.